Alright, so first things first, I need a haircut. But aside from that, um, what did I want to tell you guys today? Uh, oh, discipline. So, I was thinking of today, you know, with at like, well, I feel like I keep mentioning this, but, you know, working with the inner city students that I'm working with, we had an incident today where, you know, we had to use some disciplinary methods. And while for me personally, I'm not necessarily a, a major disciplinarian, so to speak, right? I'm more of the type of person where it's kind of like through a relationship with you. Um, I hope to rub off, rub off on you so much that um, it influences you to uh, conduct yourself in the proper manner as far as dealing with um, students. You know, but but I'm realizing that dealing with the situations that I've been dealing with, you can't, especially when you're dealing with a group of uh, students who and young people who it's already been ingrained in them to do things the wrong way, you know, and in, in their mind, the wrong way is what is the right way, you know, and you're trying to show them a better way, but they really just can't see it. And what I realized is that if I'm going to show them a, a better way, it's going to require me to implement certain levels of discipline. And that was interesting because it made me reflect on, you know, uh, I come from a Christian context. And so it made me just think of when we talk about in churches, when we talk about grace and when we talk about, um, you know, love through discipline. What you begin to realize, what what I realize is that, for real, it, it, me just allowing them to do whatever, to have the fun that they would like to have, would not really be me showing them love. You know what I'm saying? But me disciplining them is where the real love comes in, 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 in terms of the situation that we're dealing with. Because if we don't learn to correct, if we don't learn to give the discipline so that they can correct certain behaviors right now... Um, I can clearly see, like literally, like I can see, I, I think of many of the students that I'm dealing with and I see, uh, you know, jail time in their future. I see death in their future. This is the, and it's not even just in their future. This is the, the type of home life and the kind of community. This is the type of stuff that they're seeing all the time. And so I can see how generation after generation will be affected with the same consequences if things aren't corrected now. So really and truly, the love, while, while it might be difficult, while it might cause you to have to step out of your comfort zone, it's really the discipline is where, you know, it is the way that a lot of them need to be shown love right now. And so why I'm talking about that is because it made me think about now in your own personal life, right? Um, where is it that you might need some discipline? Where have you been undisciplined? And how quickly do you need to change that? How quickly do you need to implement some disciplinary measures for yourself? Um, you know, because if you truly do love, do love yourself, oh, that's what I wanted to talk about. It made me think about straight out of Compton again, and I thought about Easy E. And what was ama what what was amazing to me is that I said, you know what? What happened to Easy E is that he died. He he got the the disease, the the AIDS virus that he had gotten. And I'm, I'm not saying that everybody gets it because of this, but I'm just saying in his situation. It, it, it stemmed from a lack of discipline. He had all the success in the world. Um, he was making the money that most of us would want to make. He, was, he had the fame that many of us would like to have. But because of a lack of discipline um, in other areas of his life, lack of discipline as far as his, um, his substance usage, a lack of discipline as far as alcohol, a lack of discipline as far as, um, you know, his sexual behaviors, um, and being so promiscuous and, and, and basically they were smacked. I don't know if that's like technically correct legal, but you know, in, in the streets we would say they were just smashing everything that, you know, that, 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 that could walk in front of them, you know, any, any girl that came in front of them. So I'm saying that to say, um, yeah, where, where in what ways will your lack of discipline 
hinder the success that you would like to and lead to death in certain areas of your life if you don't begin to implement it now. How, maybe it'll lead to death in terms of um, your relationships with a young lady or, or with a young man or other types of relationships also. Maybe, you know, just brotherly, sisterly relationships, relationships between you and your parents or you and your children, um, you know, relationships amongst your peers or what have you, amongst your associates. Uh, how might lack of discipline affect your career? How might, might your lack of discipline affect your education? And come on, I told you guys already, the reason why I got kicked out of law school, the reason why um, I only graduated from Stony Brook University with a 2.3 GPA was because of a lack of discipline that I had. I, I had no discipline when it came to studying. Um, you know, um, my focus was on chasing after the girls that were on campus or what have you instead of chasing after my books. So, um, um, you know, and, and it, so it led to death in certain areas for me. So uh, I just I just don't want to see you guys suffer death in different areas of your life unnecessarily, man. Um, um, if you can avoid the foolishness, um, then do so, man. So, yeah, average is failure. Um, yeah, implement that discipline, man. You know, those who are above average have discipline in their lives. So, yeah, that's about it. Y'all be good. Holla at me. Peace.